Hey, what's going on everyone? Thanks for joining me here on Exploit Security. I'm your host CyberMonkey and this YouTube channel is all about documenting my journey to earning the OSCP. So for the last couple weeks we've been going over the Defend the Web series. It's an interactive security platform where hackers and pen testers can come to hone their skills a little bit. Um, so we're going to be going over squash image. Uh, it has to do with steganography. Uh, to be honest, I'm not a huge fan. One, I get tongue twisted when I actually try to say the word itself. And two, I, I just really haven't seen too much of this in other scenarios. It is fun to do to a certain degree, but um, I would say it's one of my least favorite ones to work with. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into it and I will show you the steps I took to actually solve this challenge and progress to the next one. So when you actually load up the page, you can see it gives a title and then it also includes an image and then a username and password input. Uh, so let's go ahead and just download the image into our download folder. We'll just keep the name as is. It doesn't really require any changing or anything like that. So I went through a couple different uh, scenarios where I tried to find the solution. Um, originally, I thought that the image might be hidden within another. Um, so I used things like StegSolve, Exif Tool, um, a few different ones that I had used in the previous challenge as well. Um, I thought really a little too deep into it. I should have started off with the most obvious scenario first. I ended up wasting a little bit more time than I cared to, um, about an extra hour. Uh, so I probably should have started with that easy scenario first and I'll, I'll show you what that is. Um, so let's jump over to the terminal and as you can see I'm already actually in the downloads directory. Um, so I'm just going to list the contents and you can see here that there is a B5, it's a JPEG. Um, so we can just go on and look at it. It's going to be an image of course. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to change the file extension. We're just going to change it to a text file. And that's going to allow us to view any words or text in the data itself or in the image itself. So and then I'm going to open up a text editor just because it's a little bit easier for me to read personally. And you can just see that that desktop environment and just flashing and flashing. I think I'm eventually going to have to probably install a different um, desktop environment or KDE for Cali. It's looking like that because it's, it's, it really doesn't affect anything, but it's just super annoying just to kind of see that flashing constantly. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open up that file. And right off the bat, you can see there's not a whole lot of text in here, but you can see some things that definitely catch your eye right, right away. All right, so as you can see here, you have a secret.txt user with admin listed, and then you have a pass safe PK. Um, so the most obvious scenario, of course, is to enter admin as the username and safe PK as the password itself. Um, and I tried a couple different scenarios. So we're just gonna do that just to show you guys. So admin's the username, safe PK, we're gonna enter as the password. We're not gonna change the capitalization or anything. Let's go on and jump over to defend the web we're gonna enter an admin and then safe PK invalid login details so they, they want to make you work for it a little bit um, they want to make sure that you're not going to follow a lead and just give up on it too early um, so they're, they're really testing your ability to really chase it until it's been chased as far as it could um, so I actually went through and just tried a couple different scenarios. Um, I also got to play with Burp Suite a little bit and I tried the um, intruder uh, to work on running the credentials through and that was fun but I end up just manually solving it um, which is just admin and then just go on and enter safe which is a capital S for safe. And now we are just going to patiently wait for the uh, the web page to load. It's taken a little bit today. Like I was saying, with COVID nineteen and everything circulating, I mean, lately the last couple of weeks, my network has been slowing down quite a bit. I'm just wondering if AT and T is throttling it at all. 
Um, who knows, honestly. I'll have to take a look at my at my uh, bandwidth and everything and kind of go through. Um, I'll have to take a look at my router as well, see if anything else is connected. Um, but it's just been going incredibly slow lately, so I'll have to look into that. All right, so here we go. So as you can see, the, the credentials were correct. Um, as a reminder, it was admin, lowercase admin, and then safe, S-A-F-E with a capital S. Um, so like I said, they just wanted to make you work for that a little bit. Um, so they listed the credentials there, but they didn't make it as obvious as you would think. So you, you did have to try different variations for it. So as a reminder, if you do find a, a promising lead, don't give up on it too soon. Um, you know, you really have to know when to, when to give up and when to keep pursuing that lead. Um, and like I said, in the previous level I did, which was intro three JavaScript, there came a scenario where I just did not do my recon and enumeration enough. I ended up looking at the source code, but I, I'm not sure what happened. I'm assuming I just didn't scroll all the way through the source code itself and I just missed it, but the credentials were right there and I had missed it for maybe about two weeks. So really, really stupid mistake to make, but it was, it was certainly a lesson in humility. So remember, if you find a lead, don't give up on it too soon. Most of the time, the thing sitting right there in front of you is, there's a good chance it's probably gonna be the correct route to take, or at least lead you to the next, the next correct route to take. So do not give up on those leads, ladies and gentlemen. Um, other than that, I hope you like the content. Please like, share, and subscribe. It, it goes a very long way. I love the support, and I love being able to help other people. So definitely kick some comments in the section below, and I will catch everyone in the next video. Thanks, everyone.